on the show. What? <laughs> what? That doesn't even grow up. <laughs> How awkward. I didn't know where to look. Uh, <laughs> This one, oh, it's upside down, there we go. He's appearing as part of the Big Laugh Festival happening in Parramatta from March 19th to the 21st at the Riverside Theatre and then the Melbourne Comedy Festival, uh, March 25th to April 18th. Tickets through Ticketmaster7.com.au. Please welcome to the show, Danny Boy! <laughs> Yep, I've never heard of me either. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Danny Boy. I am from Scotland. That's right. Not Ireland. Please stop making that mistake. Uh, and a, a taxi driver on the way here said to me, what part of Ireland are you from, mate? I said, the bit that's not Ireland, you know. <laughs> it's really not that difficult to tell the difference between a Scottish person and an Irish person. I'm going to talk you through it right now, Australia, just for the future. This is a Scottish person talking. Hello, how are you? Nice to be here. This is an Irish person. Diddly dee potatoes. <laughs> Did you hear it? Did you hear it? It's very subtle. And they're only two foot tall, you know, they usually run around scratching and eating people. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and, not, and not English. That's what really annoys me when you mistake me for an English person. You know, a guy came up to me the other day and said, uh, Mike, Mike, you this is how I think you talk. Uh, <laughs> Mike, your boys took a hammer into cricket yesterday. I said, well, it's not my boys, is it? I'm from Scotland. What, you don't play cricket in Scotland? No. You ever see a guy with a cricket bat in Glasgow? He's not on his way to the village green. <laughs> Last time I saw a field full of men dressed in all white in Scotland, they were setting fire to cattle. <laughs> I'm not afraid to so say it. Uh, now... <laughs> I do love you Australian people, you're very uh, honest people, you know, very, uh, you know. Mate, mate, she's macking you around. <laughs> she's seen other people behind your back, mate. I don't, I don't care if she's your mum, I'm just kidding. Just... Very hard people, you lot, very hard. Australians very hard people, but also very fair people. Very hard, but very fair. Hard, but fair. Hard. Mate, I'm hard, you want hard, I'll give you hard. <laughs> But I'm fear, mate. I'm hard with fear. I'm hard with fear. <laughs> look, at, look at your anti-drink drive campaign. If you drink and drive, you're a bloody idiot. Hard but fear. <laughs> what a great campaign that is. Wouldn't that be great if that campaign expanded to all the things we shouldn't do? On the side of a packet of cigarettes. Don't smoke dick. <laughs> or, or on the side of a cake. You know, don't eat it all, you fat bastard. <laughs> just, just hard but fear, mate. Hard. But fee. Because <laughs> I wouldn't do it. You know, that's the kind of campaign that hit home, hits home to me. I'm not afraid of cancer or heart disease. That's not for 30 years. But I don't want to be a dick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I love your religious programs over here as well. I woke up on Sunday morning, turned on the TV. I'm lying in bed and this evangelist came on. He said, you may not know this, but today you have already sinned. Well, I've just got up. Just, <laughs> you know, what could I possibly have done? I turned to my sister. She didn't know. It. <laughs> now, I tell you what. I tell you. Uh, I tell you what's. Uh, I tell you what's interesting about that. I did that gag in Adelaide last week. Half the audience laughed, and half them went, "Yeah, what's his point?" <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, uh, I, I've got the best heckle of my life in Adelaide. I'll leave you with this. This is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely true, about three days ago I did the Adelaide Festival. A woman in the second row had to be helped up to heckle me. She was so drunk. That's never a good sign. And, uh, and she said, uh, after some deliberation, she said, eh, yeah, get your cock out! <laughs> uh, quick as a flash, I said, well, I'd love to get my cock out, but I'd have to move the front two rows. <laughs> No, no. This Australian guy stood up and went, move them. Yeah, closer. <laughs> Good Thank you very much. Danny Boy! Good job, Danny. Great job. Catherine Parramatta then in Melbourne. Still a complicity of our next on Rick Iglesias at Extreme Grants. <laughs>